Hi everyone, Paul Morbid here, Morbid Team Entertainment and Bullock for Pair Philippines. So I just got in another Fujika Single 8 Sound ZXM500. And we're going to see what ails it. Hopefully it's not the same type of issues as the last one. Okay, there we go. Open the door compartment. Slide it back. Pull this up. And there you are. Normally, you would be able to reject this sound of cartridge with just pushing this, but it won't do it this time because at the bottom here, this pinch roller has locked the film. So, you gotta see if I can do something like push this down, get off of there, like that, and then eject the cartridge right. and there we go and it's staying down so far so there we are with another sound cartridge and you know what what is this ah. okay That is the end of the cartridge. Wow, look at that. Well, this one's gonna be a test of this cartridge. That's for sure. So here, roll this back. This is the indication that you're out of film. And the camera would pick up on that turning anymore all right so no telling what's on this be nice to get this processed and find out all right so far we got some corrosion around here it's dirty down there all right I'm looking at the pinch roller it's looking okay each and every way. All right. All right. So we're going to take a look at the battery compartment. Uh, I guess we a lot of corrosion there. So we can get that done. And inside of here, you'll notice we have some corrosion as well here and here. So let me work on that. All right. So there's the corrosion. Diamond file. And let's see if we can get on this. Generally, you can just get it scraped away. And you're doing just fine whenever you get a camera like this. So when you're doing it, this is all it's going to be for a while. From what I see with this camera so far, it's just... Forget about CLA, it's going to be overhaul. All right, just got to keep going. All right, it's going to be better if I just remove these two battery connections upon that'll let me do it. So I've got a Phillips. A lot of rust there and corrosion. Let me check out what it's going to let me do. Okay, got movement. That's good and kind of rare. There's the screw over there. Check this one. Let's do one at a time. Flathead screwdriver, mini. Lift it up. Just like that. 
and pull it up. Again, you can see how it fits in. From there, this open part fits over this cap. Now it's just a matter of cleaning this up. Same old way. Moving on. Okay, so as you can see, I got one side pretty good. Turn it around to the back, and that as well. Okay, so I've got to do clean this area off underneath okay as you can see and it's best to go ahead and clean it with alcohol at least 99.9 percent if you're going to use alcohol use it at the minimum of 87 percent anything that less than that just contains water just all water rather I'm going to get these areas good because corrosion spreads and rust with it. Not a good thing. Alright, so just doing a cleaning like that. I'll install the good one. Here, reinstall this and start on the other side. Okay, so even the screw down here has got corrosion on it. I spent quite a while on the top and bottom of this battery connector. Do this just I've got 99% alcohol on this microfiber cloth. I'm spin it around here. Just like this. Clean that bottom thread. All right, so once I've got that, I'll retrieve it, clean the head a little bit like that, but what I have to do is grab it like this, get a flat diamond file, and you start going over it. It's a bit difficult, but... That's what you got to do. Get the corrosion off there the best you can and the rust. All right. All right, next you're cleaning these battery connection springs here and here. And really, you do that. Put your diamond file in there. And you start scraping it off. That's how that works. Get in the inner and outer side of this. And start chipping away at it. Okay? Okay, so I got this camera battery compartment decently cleaned. There's going to be a lot more to go on different areas of this camera. There we are. Corrosion's gone. Got a little bit of rust, but I got to remove that later. This camera's got a lot of issues. So now we're going to load it up with batteries. All right. Positive up. Negative up. Turn it around. All right. See what we got. I have a positive up, it looks like, and a negative up. Okay, batteries in. I'm going to put on the cap. Put 
All right, so get it kind of snug, not too tight. It could crack this plastic housing, as I've said many times before. All right, so here's what we're going to do. One thing I got to show you open up the film compartment, and you got to look right here for this particular model with these sound cameras. All right, so I'll give you a close up. This pinch roller has to be in this position, just enough to have the film insert, okay? Although this pinch roller is rotten and gooey now. See the space between there? you got to have that much space. What you can actually do is maneuver it with a screwdriver. Just stick it up in here and move it around. You can push it down okay you can pull it up but when you're at this space only then will the shutter button allow you to make this film operate this camera operate so I'm gonna go out there we go and take a look right here at the shutter button and then right here at the spindles. So here we go. Get my hand out of the way. That's good news. We got something else to show you as well. Now up here with an automatic zoom. See, that needs, that oil, that old lubrication needs to be cleaned off. This camera has some issues. Just that old lubrication. All right. All right, next. Okay, this is my tester right here. Of a, see the arrow right there? I'll even put a mark on it. Okay. Want to see if it'll move a silent cartridge? Yes, you can use silent cartridges on these cameras since uh, the silent cartridges are no longer available and they were deemed to be hazardous to the environment okay so we're going to take this put it right in here make sure the film goes in between the gate and the pressure plate right here you don't have to worry about this sound stuff anymore okay press the shutter button and watch Do that again. Mmm. It's trying to. Push it to eject. All right, so I got to see what's going on with that. Let me test the torque here. My fingers on here. Should be picking it up. Let me try this. do it that way Let's give it a start maybe tight in there for some reason I don't know I use this thing all the time can't understand why 
I film in between the gate and the pressure plates. There we go. So it's intermediate. Alright, looks like the claw is not picking up on it. Check it out. All right, we're going to mark this again right here. So it just seems to be once the camera door is closed, then it's going to move the film cartridge. All right, so we just take this, put the film in between the gate and the pressure plate right here. For those who don't know, we're going to shut the door and we're going to watch this white dot through this through the window so what window am I talking about this one watch the white dot okay open the door remove my test cartridge <coughs> and you can see the blight mark has vanished all right just a lot of work to go on this uh, to take it apart and see what else ails it. Overhaul, I'm sure. So that's just about all for this video here. Remember, these cameras right here are pretty good, but they do have some faults to them. Just to get those uh, plastic parts 3D printed, that is the best way. If you can get them printed in metal, that would be, uh, that would be great. You know, really, really would. These are good backup cameras. Um, seeing they're only going to film at, uh, what, 20 frames per second? So, that's just about it. But each one you get, you do have to get a CLA on it. You have to get it cleaned up. The one I got on the, the set, this is one of the ones I have. The second one I have right down here on my table. Um, I'm just uh, working on cleaning that up. Okay? Do contact me at the social media outlets provided on the screen. And remember, as always, do subscribe. Until next time, later.